Today I am going to explain about seed germination. The resumption of active growth of, a, of the embryo resulting in rupture of a seed coat and emergence of a young plant is called as germination. There are three stages of germination. One is pre-germination, uh, second is uh, germination and uh, third one is post-germination. In case of pre-germination, first the rehydration takes place that is imbibition of water. RNA and protein synthesis is stimulated. Uh, increased metabolism that is increased respiration takes place. Later the hydrolysis of reserve food material by the enzymes will be done. Then change in cell ultrastructure will be seen. Then induction of cell division and cell growth will be seen. In case of germination, the rupture of seed coat, emergence of seedling, usually radical will be the first. Then post germination, controlled growth of root and uh, shoot axis and then controlled transport of material from food stores to growing axis is seen. Then senenses or aging, uh, senensing of the food storage tissues will be seen. There are three phases of uh, seed germination. One is imbibition phase, second is latent phase and exponential phase growth. In case of imbibition phase, water is absorbed by the seed which activate the gibberellic acid synthesis. This increased gibberellic acid synthesis will in turn lead to increase in DNA synthesis which led to the RNA synthesis or transcription which finally led to the production of amylase enzymes or other hormones uh, or other enzymes also uh, which this amylase enzyme will degrade the starch convert into sugar this sugar enter inside the epicotyl uh, which led to the growth and germination of the seed latent phase is further divided into phase 1 2 and 3 in phase 1 rapid uptake of water takes place and uh, the onset of mrna synthesis will start then the onset of uh, starch degradation, degradation takes place then glycolysis and fermentation of starch hydrolysis which led to the cell wall biosynthesis non-functional protein degradation mitochondrial assembly and amino acid biosynthesis then in the in phase 2 that is tca cycle uh, where um, in the phase 2 coleoptile emergence emergency uh, emergence will be seen then starch biosynthesis stocking protein degradation and then aerobic respiration will be seen in the phase 3 in the exponential growth phase the seed coat will break up and then the sugar produced by the aerobic respiration will be consumed by the embryo and uh, uh, epicotyl and radical and the hypocotyl will start to grow and that will lead to the germination of the seed there are two types of germination one is hypogeal germination and another one is uh, epigeal germination uh, in case of hypogeal germination the cotyledon is uh, present inside the ground level after germination of the seed that uh, and it is that's why it is called as hypogeal germination hypo means inside the ground level so hypogeal means inside the ground level uh, and this type of hypogeal germination is seen in monocot plants in case of epigeal uh, germination the cotyledon will come above the ground level after the germination that's why it is called as epigeal epigeal means above the ground so this type of germination is seen in case of dicots requirements of germination first is the light generally seed require darkness to germinate but sometimes it requires light photoblastic if a seed responds to light for germination named as a photoblastic three categories of photoblastic seeds are there one is a positive photoblastic that is lettuce or tobacco uh, are uh, some of the examples which require exposure of sunlight 
whereas a negative photoblastic uh, here example is onion lily amaranthus and they do not require exposed sunlight non photoblastic here non exposure of uh, light is needed phytochrome is a plant pigment found in cytoplasm that sense the presence of light that is red light phytochrome absorbed light in two interconvertible form pr is metabolically inactive and absorb red light that is 660 nanometer pfr is metabolically active and get transformed into pr the later promote the germination that is uh, uh, pr will promote the germination and other uh, phytochrome control uh, the process of the plant pfr revert back to pr after absorbing far red light at uh, 730 nanometer this is the light spectrum where uh, you can see that uh, the nanometer for red light is from 6 uh, 650 to 760 this is the wavelength in nanometer in, in function of phytochrome system will be explained in this picture here the inactive form that is pr that is phytochrome which absorb the red light at 660 nanometer will be converted into a active form which is pfr Uh, that will lead to ph photomorphogenesis whereas uh, when this pfr uh, it when it is in active form that lead to a dark light and uh, it will be produced into i mean it will be converted into a inactive form now this pfr will absorb the far red light at 730 nanometer and converted into pfr which is an inactive form so usually in this table you can see that whenever a red light is uh, given to the seed it will germinate when you give a red light plus far red light no germination will be seen in the same way if we give red light far red light and then the red light germination will be seen in the same way if you see here whenever the last light which will be given in red form then germination will be seen whenever there is a last uh, treatment will be far red light then there will be a no germination so we have to remember in this way when there is a red light see germination takes place when there is a far red light at the uh, light treatment then no germination will be seen to germinate seed must require uh, must take in water uptake of water by seed is called imbibition the imbibition lead to swelling and breaking the seed coat next is oxygen uh, aeration oxygen is required initially for metabolic activity uh, metabolic activity breakdown of uh, stored food for energy radical emergence from the seed coat with aeration temperature most seed go through cold period before germination uh, it helps uh, prevent it helps prevent uh, seeds from sprouting as soon as they mature most common annual vegetable have optimal germination temperature between 75 to 90 degree fahrenheit that is uh, 24 to 32 degree centigrade temperature must be optimum uh, if the temperature is very high then seed will emerge very fast and even weather traditional karif crop are sown in june and july after receipt of monsoon west uh, i mean southwest monsoon whereas a uh, rabi crop um, during the october november questions seeds are not provided with adequate condition like water temperature or air for germination that is a ste that is seeds in storage form dormancy seeds remain ungerminable even though provided with suitable condition then it is called as dormancy